everybody, this is Heroes and Brews with Nerdy Dudes. We are your friendly neighborhood bureaus. I'm Ty. I'm Kev. And Kev? Yeah, man. What day of the week is it? Oh, man, it's my freaking favorite day of the week. It's Beer of the Week Day. And uh, we got an Imperial IPA straight from Tavor and straight from Bale Breaker Brewing Company. We got their bottom cutter Imperial IPA. Now, Strong guy. I actually got this from my first crate and it's been sitting in my fridge for a while. It's fresh off the farm, right off the can, fresh off the farm. It tastes like it is too. Is it is it a good fresh off the farm or I think it's a delicious drink. Yes. I really do. I really do. Smells fantastic. That's really dangerous for eight point two percent alcohol. It is. It doesn't taste strong. It tastes like a normal IPA. It does, yeah. It's 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 not it's kinda of bitter. It's a little bit bitter. It's not too bad. None of the it's not really like the juicy stuff we had lately. All those no. hazies. No. Um, I think we needed a break. I, I know I did. I think I needed a break from the hazy. I, I yeah. love them, but I think the hazies after a while, they're so juicy. Yeah. It was just like I was – it was like uh, – reminded me too much of orange juice all the time. Yeah, I don't mind that though. I, don't I, I know. Me. I I needed a little bit of a break. I need to step back. I like a, a little bitterness in my life sometimes. So I'm, I'm digging this. This mm-hmm. is a nice... Uh, this is a good beer. Nice break. I think this It's a, a nice bale breaker. Because that's the name of the... I see what you did there. I'll leave. So, I think I rate this a 4.0 on tap. Really good beer. Like, really good. Very, very good. Um, It's just... I'm amazed that this is an Imperial because it just doesn't taste like it. You know what? I, I've had... I've had other Imperials before, and I think every time I have an Imperial IPA, I always go go into it thinking, "Man, this is gonna be intense as shit." Because like, usually, I you already, can taste like, like I already know it. And you can taste like the ABVs. Usually, you can taste like that alcohol taste, which yeah. like when you have like doubles and triples, like they're it's really potent that yeah. alcohol taste. And in, in some Imperials, you can taste that, but this you don't taste any of the alcohol. No, like uh, it's weird. Like, like for example, we were just at Victory. The Dirt Dirt Wolf, which is a double IPA, yeah. um, same same kind of thing. Yes. Imperial. I mean, they're, they're both strong in alcohol content. You know, they're both at least eight or yeah, more. Eight or more, yeah. Um, it doesn't. To me, it's not like a very like holy shit. This is a lot more than what I'm used to. Yeah. You know. Um, however, there's Dogfish Head. Their 90 minute IPA. I haven't. I had the 60 minute. <laughs> Good. No, I'm sorry. I love their 60 minute. 60 I really, really, really do. Good, yeah. But their 90 minute, it's like uh, looking at turd. Straight up, just straight up. Like like Step Brothers when like they made Will him, like, Ferrell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, right in the white turd. Yeah, I wasn't in that scene, but I imagine when he licked that, it's probably equal just to equal to 90 minute IP. I just wasn't digging it. I had a friend of mine try it too, and yeah. he was like, "Wow, this is like." Somebody like drained their armpit juice in like a bottle. <laughs> That's foul. It wasn't great. That's like I had I forget what beer it was at World of Beer. It was just a funky taste, man. Yeah. I don't I don't know. It was weird. Was it like that did you just like taste like alcohol the whole time you're drinking it? Because like that's what I don't like that. Taste. It just it had a funky aftertaste. I had I, fuck maybe they did just I don't know, maybe they didn't refrigerate the bottles. Did at I tell all? you about like the um the toasted marshmallow? Beer I had, the yeah. yeah, like the the aftertaste was great. Like this beer I had was awesome. It was toasted marshmallow, but the body just like that alcohol taste. It just I don't want that in a beer. If I want yeah. if I want that alcohol taste, I'll take shots. And at that point, you're just taking a little shot glass. You're not drinking a whole yeah. 16, 12 ounce can of it, uh, it. Twelve ounce can of it. Like you know, I don't yeah. want to drink that alcohol taste for a whole can. I'll, I'll take a shot of it, you know, but I'm not gonna sit here and sit back and try and chug an alcohol taste you know it's not worth it to me there was nothing to me and i I hate bashing them but that's what we do man we we review beers you know so i'm gonna give my honest opinion to me it just didn't have a uh 
I, I don't know. I just couldn't sit there and just like chill on this beer. Yeah. Like there was like the, the taste what you, never. You never got used to it. it yeah. Just, I, I don't. It just wasn't me. And there's probably people out there that freaking love that's it. The, that's cool. That's but. the perfect way to describe it. You can't get used to it. You know. Yeah. Because like when you drink a beer, and if you're gonna drink multiples of a beer and like hang out, you want to be able to enjoy the whole thing. You know. You don't want to be like cringing every time you're taking a sip yeah i mean i don't want to like sit there and go like you know i'm drinking toilet water and they're like well, why are you drinking that it's like well I, maybe i'll get used to the taste like no. nobody made you sign a contract no. you don't kind of drink that and you pay money else. for it but at the same time you can also just hand it off to someone else who might actually like it you know yeah like my brother yeah yeah <laughs> like the natty lights yeah it's just... I, mean, I like natty so i can't yeah. well, Night light not we, we did the natty ice thing yeah that was that was neat <laughs> It was, it was that good. was something. Yeah, it was just a lot better cold than it was warm, in my opinion. Yeah, it was, and it's not saying it's much. Still, yeah, not saying much. It's still something. But, but as always, thank you for watching. Check out barrel. Uh, I'm oh, bail breaker. I'm, I'm not gonna mess up. <laughs> like what was the other? What was the one brewing company I was gonna mess up again? Uh, I was gonna say Baker Bre Bear just then. I don't know why. I just uh, what were you gonna say? Baker Bear. I don't know. My brain. <laughs> were you about to say the uh, uh, Baker Mayfield? <laughs> no. Remember I kept messing up uh, Bear. Oh, ba oh yeah, 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 it was Bear Bear Bottle, right? Yeah, and I was saying Bar. What was bar, I saying? bar Bottle bar or something bottle? like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My brain hurts like sometimes, us. guys. Don't mind yeah, me. Yeah, it's all right. Bail Breaker Brewing yeah. Company. But check out their uh, Bottom Cutter Imperial IPA. It's really good for an Imperial. You it might want to drink a few less than you normally would because you might get real messed up. 8.2%. Yeah, hey you. And uh, we said thank you for watching. Thank you, guys. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Always, smash always. Smash that like button. Yeah, smash that. Smash that subscribe button. Yeah. Smash bail, those keys bail, for the comment. Bail break that button. Oh, I gotta stop with the punch. I just kind of like that. Really? And as always, cheers. cheers. I always tongue twist. When it's like two of the same letters. Yeah, it throws you off. I don't know what it is. Yeah, man. It's my weakness. It's an alliteration. It's literally like kryptonite. Yeah. When it's like two of the same first letters back to back. And then you gotta say brewing company, so it's like three Bs, and I'm just like... <laughs> My eyes just cross. Hey guys, don't forget to use our promo code on Tavor Bureaus. It's B E E R O E S. This app Tavor will open up your world to all these different craft beers that you never even knew existed. If you download the app, you may find your next favorite beer that isn't even in your area. It could be from Iowa. It could be from Texas. Hawaii. Who knows? Oh, uh, Hawaii. Check it out. Check it out, guys. Don't be disappointed.